This week, we've been running a series of reports celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Oxford Children's Hospital. Tonight, we're taking you through the doors of one of the most highly specialist surgical wards in the country. The Oxford Craniofacial Unit one of only four in the UK and uses groundbreaking techniques to treat rare genetic conditions. Jeremy Stern has more. It's the day after the big operation. Hannah and Tom are waiting for news on their 10-month-old daughter, Lucy. She was born with an unusually shaped head and referred to a specialist unit at the Oxford Children's Hospital. Yesterday was possibly the longest seven hours of my life waiting for her to come through, uh, through the operation, and knowing you know, what she was going through and the potential risks that were been spelt out. Absolutely terrified, to be honest. The fact her dad had had something similar and that was his worst fear, that Lucy would end up with anything like that. Um, and then uh, you think, well, what are the implications for her? Is it something they can fix? The Children's Hospital is one of four in the country with a department for what's called craniofacial treatment. Surgeons move bone and skin to alter a patient's features. There are many examples where I've been doing things for the very first time uh, and a lot of conditions where uh, we are having to think on our feet and uh, you know, almost design new operations from, from scratch. About a hundred operations take place every year, some more complex than others. Brianne was born with a unique mix of disorders. If someone else had it the same as Brianne, we could then compare us to see how they've developed. But because no one else has got that missing genome, they don't know what it is. So future-wise, we don't know what that holds. We don't know if she's going to develop normally. We don't know if she's going to affect any aspect of her life. We just don't know is quite a scary place to be in. Hello, Brianne, hello. hello. Nice to see you, you well? Brianne's been Happy through several operations. Psychologists, geneticists and speech therapists are yeah, working on her recovery. Already her forehead has been rebuilt and surgeons are hoping to bring her eyes closer together when she's older. Back on the ward, there's good news about Lucy. We took the bottom two centimetres off the bone at the front, the same at the back. Put some the operation went to plan. What's really wonderful is actually going and seeing the family afterwards and seeing the parents and, let, and telling them that everything has gone really well, watching the um, emotion change in their face to absolute relief. We've just been blown away by the care they've given us. I'm just so indebted to them that we got her back yesterday and looking so wonderfully well. Um, Mr Johnson's just done an absolutely amazing job. Absolutely amazing. We couldn't have hoped for better and she couldn't have been in better hands. As Lucy was taken home to Cambridge, Kirsty arrived from Grimsby. Like many other children, the treatment she's getting in Oxford is setting her up for a happy and healthy life. Jeremy Stern. BBC South Today.